I've heard of that one. Great, Carl Larson. The mainlanders have no historical perspective. Read the runes. It's all right there. Talk to a grandparent. But no, he passed people out like rubbish. Wisdom is not to be treated so lightly. When my father grew old, I sat with him day and night, absorbing his wisdom, learning about the demons and where the wickedness resides in men's hearts. Then as his time grew near, I built a large pyre, burnt him and his oh, wife while communing with Odin's spirit. Careful, Musty Pines is the sponsor of the show. Oh, Grody, what are you... Animal hide does get a bit itchy. Um, okay. You never answered my question. What do you think of Vice City? Your land and people have a lot in common with mine. You see, we too fed our homes through the lack of food, overpopulation, and the bitter cold. And, mind you, starting out to raid passing ships is fine, but we needed a new land to have our way with. Granted, we roll and sail to an area, land in force, and burn down a local monastery or village, whereas you come in, destroy all... Buster, my mother's half Canadian. Oh, what are you going to do, Wench? Sweep the ice furiously at me? Ha! Huh. Socialized medicine? Nah, you did it all wrong. You should have continued to the north and finished things off. I talk about this in the motivational learning tapes. That, and beware the magpie. She's the devil. He will rain us when darkness falls. Are you married? You see. Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Ugh. Don't be hard! I'll chop your head off! Ugh. Who is this thickhead? Tommy Versetti. <sighs> you remember me. Excuse me! I'm a little anxious! <sighs> Never trust a goddamn horse! <sighs> you do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up. Me. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is going to be easy. B session blues. I think it's great. Let's take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Thor. He's a real Viking. Hello, I am Fernando Martinez. I think by now you know I am an emotional kind of guy. People stop me in the street and say, Fernando, what the hell is wrong with me? Silk jerk, hairy chest, enough actor shape to drown a household pet. But I still cannot get a woman. I tell them you are an ignorant fool. Without a symbol of power and fertility around your neck, what kind of woman is going to respect you? That is why I have teamed up with Medallion Man, the shop for Medallion Needs. Medallion Man caters to all levels. Guru. Do you have a last name? Oh, whatever. Anyway, what were we talking about? 
were talking about the wisdom of the ancients. There are many hurdles in life, Amy. I remember one of the first bits of fan mail I got. It came by bottle in the sea. A man of Lollard Island said, A tiny woman came to our farm and swept in front of our door. A wooden troll has carried off my woman in the dead of night. Give me wisdom, Thor. So, what did you tell him? Hi, Amy. It was obvious the Black Plague had visited his home. As sure as you can't be a midwife to a fairy, expect wisdom from a fool, or find a good meal downtown on a Saturday night. Okay. I don't, um, I really have nothing to ask you because I really don't think we're bonding quite right here. I'm more than a little confused. Let's go to the phone! You're on K-Chat with Thor. Yes, hello, Thor. My name's Jay. I'm a huge fan, man. Your book really helped me get through puberty. Everyone else was into vampires and stuff. I just got into the Viking thing. It's pretty cool. It's been working pretty well for me. Anyway, my girlfriend and I, we fight all the time. She's always calling to check up on me. It really totally sucks. It's a drag. Like, I hang out at the strip mall with all my boys, and she shows up. Is there any advice you can give me? Ah, uh, yes. There was a man who asked for a night's lodging at a certain farm on the eve of Moundy Thursday. Or maybe it was Fat Tuesday. Anyway, in the course of the night, the old woman of the house took out a horn of salve and smeared herself with it from head to toe. She then climbed on top of the stove, sat astride a sweeping broom, and began to... Um, hello? Excuse me, what the hell are you talking about? Reading from the rooms, wench! What kind of rune is that? Ah, it's a man's rune, and not appropriate for the warrior under 18 years old. But there's a moral at the end. Are you still there, Fair Jay? Uh, yeah, I'm still here. Do you love this woman? Yeah, I, I think so. She's really special. Especially in the back seat, if you know what I mean, Thor. Then behead her and parade that love around on a stick for the world to admire. Wow, cool. Thanks, Thor. Okay, I'd like to throw you out, but you've got an enormous sword and... Uh, uh... and the serpent with two tongues. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Yo, brother, where'd you land that funky fresh silver helmet of yours? Those wings on the side are wicked, money. Stop calling me a wench. I have much to teach you, wench, Amy, only if you would listen. For many centuries, people have asked questions. Why is my father the path gone out to the gypsy woman of the earth? Are there trolls living in my chimney? I, for sure, I can tell you the story of the 12 children out of Pratter, or the midsummer snow, the spirit hatched from the cock's egg. But in the end, Amy, you need a spirit journey, a wandering... We have another guest. We'll be back right after this. How do you like to enjoy a Rusty Brown's Ring Donut? I like to lick lovingly around the outside and then thrust my tongue in the middle. I like to munch it vigorously. I just love the batter all over my face. On Friday nights, I just can't stop eating Rusty Brown's Ring Donuts. Oh my god, it's so good. Sometimes I like to wear women's panties and walk around Fifth Street. When you go downtown, 
Make sure you enjoy Rusty Brown's Ring Donuts. Hi, I'm Jeremy Robar, entrepreneur, VIP, and founder of the Revolutionary Program, Think Your Way to Success. It's a three-step program that's been changing lives and my income for the last two years. Five years ago, I was a nobody, just like you. After my Think Your Way to Success program, I spend the entire weekend in my jacuzzi or engaging in the exciting sport of domino topping. Hey, if you can think it, you can do it. One of my award-winning courses is sure to be perfect for you. The first course I call Think, All That Thought, Complete, because that's what you do. Step two is known as Learn, Start, Doing, where I explain the mysteries of starting. Or take the new accelerated course that will have you laughing and hugging strangers. Motivate, demonstrate, then motivate again. Just listen to these indoors. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. One thing puzzling me. What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Vance. Vance? Did they play Vance? Hey, I got enough of that at school. Vance, Vance, poor bastard. Where the hell are we headed anyway? Ron Island. You ever buy one of those from a whirly? No. I'll get a bit of practice on the way, though. Okay, we're almost there. We'll make a couple of passes. So take out as many guns as you can. Then I'll set you down, and you're on your way. Thank you. 
centro of Brown Island. That's so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. No, I can't either. Ten! Zing deficiency! Poor boys against your face! Ray Tracks, what memories! And here you say you dedicate the album to the children of the night. Who are they? Let's go on, let's get one thing straight here. Hello? Are we recording here? This is for the record, right? Test, test, test. Love Fist is Jez Torrance. I sing the songs, sweetheart. It's my face. Look. Check out the bulge on that guy. Fist! He who pays the piper plays the tune. Oh, I didn't know you had a piper in the band. Love, I was talking metaphorically. Condensed meaning, enlightenment. We're a family living in a death valley. But I walk up. I am on a spiritual journey, and if anyone stands in my way, the contract says I'll walk. I've been dragged back, held down, and embarrassed by those guys. But you know, it's part of being in a band, man. Like wearing makeup. Yeah, but wasn't Percy Bode guitarist of the year by Kerab Rock Monthly? Look, look, I love the whole bit of the fuzzy guitar being so great and comfortable, right? Without the torrents of abuse, Love Fist would be over, and the new contract reflects that. As an artist, it's really important that I make a lot of money. Right, man? You need to keep you and our friends in your diamonds and that, eh? Yeah, rock on, Keith. Roger, what a trip. Yeah, shut up, you silly talk. Ugh, let's take a caller. Hello. You're on the line with Love Fist. Hi. Yo, wait, man. Hey, what's up, Jez? I'm a huge fan. I go to all your concerts. I go crazy. I wear my Love Fist t-shirt every day, even when I'm with my old lady. Hey, I heard some subliminal messages in your video. Is that true? Listen, seriously, the big hair, the limousines, the girls, the party, the clubs, the hotel suites, another TV smashed into a thousand pieces, right? After my unfortunate incident in Cleveland, I told... Yeah. 
Music cannot stand on its own. You need to look good singing it. I'm tired of people saying all we care about is partying and that we can't play. If we couldn't play, people wouldn't so come to our concerts. Like We're not going away, and if we do, it won't be on purpose. Where are we, dear Creek? We're on the radio, love. Stop dragging me down. I told you, if you ride a whirlwind, don't be surprised when the dawn breaks. Ah, oh, she's really getting on my nerves. Why are you waving your hands at me? Oh, I'm supposed to go to commercial. I'll be right back. Howdy. Welcome to Farewell Ranch. They say the golden years are the best years of your life. They pour me vacuum cleaner. Tommy, it's me, Colonel Cortez. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh? Jack! Plastic crap! You're doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Bro, you! It is my favorite Alburo movie. It died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here, okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap. But I know one day, I'm gonna save your ass, and you're probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> we got some competition! So Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal, so why in the hell are we running errands for him? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. Invite I like your style, man. Real fresh. And a spare pair of panties. I know I will. We'll be right back on KChat after these messages. Thanks. What makes a real American? A cowboy hat, enjoying a fine T-bone steak, going to a baseball game. Shooting a gun. Maybe it's the freedom to go into a poor country and tell them how to do things. Heh, <laughs> those are all great qualities. But one thing that makes a true patriot is the ability to choose an American car. When you buy an import, you take a hot meal off a hard-working American's table. There, there. This poor girl is going to starve to death just because you bought a cheaper, more efficient Maibatsu. Without gross... It's time for the land fans dance! Up to our great industries are threatened. Cars, pornography, armaments, and... Watch yourself! They're coming from all over! No good. Got it! And for as fast as you can! Make sure you do the American thing. Eat it! Eat it! We go everywhere together. Right, boy? At Pet Stuffers, we know there's nothing like a relationship between a man and his dog. Sometimes you just can't let go. Max, you didn't eat your food. That's the second week in a row. Max? 
When the unspeakable happens, just put your four-legged friend in the refrigerator or freezer. Then call Pet, Pet Stuffers. We'll be there within a week to pick him up, and in less than a month, he'll be back as good as new. Through an ancient Egyptian miracle process called taxidermy, you and your best friend... Eat it! Eat it! That's good! with the fish! Listen, you just can't let go. Grandparents forever. With sissy spreads when you're clubbing or sticking your head out of a stretch limo sunroof, you want to know your hair is performing to the limit. With sissy spreads, it's hair for the future, not the past. When you have great hair, more trouble up ahead! You want some of this? This is Kate Chat. Welcome back to the show. I'm Amy Schechenhausen, and next up, we're going to be interviewing someone with a... Good shooting, my friend. You're a real, proper, grade-A lunatic. Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Going back home this summer? Oh, crap, my dear. More misogynistic propaganda. I hate men. Can't bear them. I think they're a complete waste of time and space, quite frankly, and a disaster for the planet. Me too. I just got dumped. Oh, well, it is unfortunate you measure your self-worth in relation to a man, my dear. Look at you. You could be an attractive girl if you did some visible labor, cut your hair short, grew out your 